In this archived interview, which originally aired on October 4th, 2009, cinematographer William A. Fraker discusses his collaboration with Roman Polanski on the classic horror film Rosemary's Baby. Other films that grace his resume include Bullet, Day of the Dolphin, Looking for Mr. Goodbar, Heaven Can Wait, 1941, War Games, and Tombstone. Mr. Fraker passed away on May 31st, 2010. I was very, very fortunate at that time, because, uh, and especially at, at Paramount, because I was I did five or six pictures in a row at Paramount during that mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just happened that, that Roman and Bill Castle, who produced the picture, uh, did Rosemary's Baby. Bill Bill Castle, William Castle, who was a good director and a, and a good producer, terrific producer, in fact, mm-hmm. uh, was also a, a director. And he bought Rosemary's Baby, actually started with right. that, got Paramount to buy it. And then, then uh, Bob Evans uh, was head of Paramount at that, t- at, t- at that time and loved Roman. And so he brought Roman over from from Europe. Yeah, it, we've we've covered the the story of the of the film's conception uh, before on the show, and it is it is fascinating how it came to be. Uh, were you did you have an awareness of Polanski's uh, work prior to Rosemary's Baby? Yes, I did. We all well, did. Uh, you know, everybody and the knife in the water and uh, those pictures. Uh, mm-hmm. All uh, uh, we knew he was an important director, and right. he was young. Yeah. He was extremely young. I, I I loved him, and I loved him from the fact for the fact that he knew how to tell a story visually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, he knew how to work the visual aspects of, of of motion pictures, and that's what a lot of directors today don't realize. They want to be storytellers, or they, you you have to be a storyteller, but you have to think visually. Mm-hmm. You have to think what you're giving the audience and how, how you want to bring the audience into into the story that you're telling and keep them there. That's yeah. the secret, and that was one of the great things about Roman. Uh, he, uh, he he knew how to tell a story visually. Like in Rosemary's Baby, uh, when they first, the kids, Mia Farrow and, and John Cassavetti, when they first get to the apartment, they, he opens up and he's on the floor in the living room. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, you see them come in through the hallway. First, it's just a dark room, and then the door opens, and they both come in, they're carrying some some. I don't know some stuff, and uh, John comes in and he goes off to the to the I think the left, and then Mia comes in. Now we're on the ground with a camera, and normally what you do because they're the actors, you tilt up with them so that you see their faces, see their expressions, and then see them exit. Mm-hmm. Roman says, "No, no, no. You just stay on the ground. You just stay right ahead." And I said, "But we only." Catch them at the knees when they when they stop here. He says exactly, and then after they exit, he stays one, two, three. Then he cuts. Now what he's doing? This is the beautiful part about Roman. What he's doing is that he's besides Mia Farrow and John Cassavetes and uh, uh, Ruth Gordon and Sidney Blackmere. Those are four actors. He's made the apartment another actor. Mm-hmm. He's starting to. So, and the apartment is very, very important in Rosemary's Baby. We, you know, we bring them into the apartment. The, the other couple, Sydney, uh, Sydney Blackmere and, and uh, Ruth, mm-hmm. and then we come into the front room, and and uh, and they, they talk about the baby. They, she's going to have a baby, and so forth. She says, "Oh, you got a telephone? I've got to call uh, Pat, Patsy Kelly." And she says, "I got to talk over the phone." And Mia says, "That way." And, and, and Ruth exits, camera left. Okay. Now Roman says, "All right, cut." He says, "Now Billy, give me a, a shot of of, uh, of Ruth on the bed." I said, "Okay, terrific." And so we 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 shoot the you know we set up the shot and we light it and so forth. And we're in the front room, which means you have one door jam. Mm-hmm. Then you have the hallway. Then you got another door jam to the bedroom. And so you see two two door jams and then you see Ruth sitting on, on, on the bed and so I said okay Roman we're ready take a look and he looks at it and he says no no Billy no 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 and he says move camera left move camera left and move the camera left and he says there that's the shot and I look through and I said you can only see half of her and she says <laughs> and he says exactly 
<laughs> yeah. Oh God, I, I, you know, that's 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 a that's a marvelous experience to to go through, and I, I just fell in love with him, and I still love him to this day because he's he's a visual storyteller, and he's a marvelous storyteller. Yeah, those mem- those images just burn in your brain. Uh, when you met with him to discuss the direction you were going to take with this film, what were those initial meetings and conversations like? Well, they were absolutely terrific, and and he. And since he wrote the screenplay and knew he was going to direct, he really had a, a complete knowledge of exactly what he wanted. And he says, uh, I want your contributions, Billy. He says, but remember, I'm the director. <laughs> I said, yes, sir. And, uh, the, 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 and there was another picture being done with Burt Reynolds, and uh, and Paramount was doing it. and, and uh, uh, they said, Billy, we want you to do this picture, and then uh, and then uh, I said, I, I, I don't want to do anything because I don't want to miss doing Rosemary's Baby. Uh-huh. And uh, they said, Don't worry about, it, don't worry about. It. Then the picture got postponed, and the picture got a late start. And I said, I, I, I got to do Rosemary's. <laughs> I said because the book by Ira Levin was so was sensational. Oh yeah, the book was... was a killer. Yeah, it was. And and uh, uh, I hadn't met Roman at that time, but I but I knew the material, and I said, God, this is fantastic picture, uh, and 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 book, and so I was just afraid that I, I would be stuck and and miss. And I said, yeah. No, 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 no. And I said, Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you you chose said, wisely. Yeah. They said, yes, We're the boss, Billy. <laughs> uh, just out of curiosity, and you, what was the Burt Reynolds movie? Uh, I think it was. I, I, I believe it was Gator. Okay, so you would that that came much later. You came back to that. Oh well, no, then it wasn't Gator. It was something else. I, I you know, I, I can't remember all. That's all right. That's okay. Yeah, yeah that was. Pretty, I'm at an age. Double. I'm at an age now to where, uh, you know, <laughs> things slip away. Okay. It, that was pre-deliverance. So that was that was an early Burt. Right? Yes, it was. It was pre-deliverance. Yeah, right. Yeah. It would have to yeah. be. Yeah. Uh, it was and, a little picture. I'll, I'll think of it. It'll come to me. Uh, it, in terms of Rosemary's Baby, if I'm reading correctly, I, I think I read that you only used two lenses for that film. Yes, a twenty twenty-five and a, and a, and a t- eighteen. I think. Is that unusual? Eighteen. Yes, we, we didn't use any long lenses, and that's because again, because again, uh, uh, if you look at the picture and look at the setups in the picture of the apartment, you'll see that that apartment becomes very, very important. Mm-hmm. And it t- changes its personality, its drab and so forth when we go into it because the little old lady was living there. And then how it changes and gets bright and sparkly like she is and so forth like that. Mm-hmm. It's a very important aspect of the motion picture. And people don't realize it. Uh, but uh, uh, they're just sucked into the middle of it, and they and they, they stay sucked in. Mm-hmm. Right. What what strikes me about about Mr. Polanski as well is, uh, in, in spite of uh, the, the the tragedies that he's uh, incurred in his life, yeah, he still maintains such a, a childlike enthusiasm for filmmaking. Did you oh, find he, that to be the case? Yeah, absolutely. He loves filmmaking. That's his life. That's, yeah, it, that's yeah. his whole life. I love him, and and uh, uh, he'll really be high in my estimation, my my memory of him. Yeah, uh, very very high. And we were going to do, you know, we were going to do Chinatown. I was doing a commercial in 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 Monaco, in 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 Italy, in Rome, mm-hmm. and in Monaco rather, and and. And there was a Dodge that came out called Monaco, so they went, I went over there to shoot it. And, and uh, I got a phone call from him, and he said, "Billy, Billy, we're going to do Chinatown picture with Jack Nicholson." And oh God, he was excited. I said, "Okay, I'll be home in about a week. I'll give you a call." And so I, I came home. Uh, I, I said, "Let's go to lunch, Roman." And he says, "Okay." And so we went to lunch, and then he told me, he says. You're not going to do Rosemary. Uh, you're not going to do Chinatown. I said, why? And he says, because Bob Evans, who ran the studio and was becoming a producer and leaving the studio in a sense, mm-hmm. or his position in the studio, uh, 
he said he said if Fraker and Polanski get the picture, they're going to run with it. I don't want I, I want some other cameraman. And they it broke my heart. It broke my heart. I was uh, God, I was so happy. Oh, he wanted he wanted more it. control over. Uh, the project yeah, he, he, did. he did, and and then they hired Stanley Cortez, who was a magnificent cinematographer, and then he lasted a week and a half, and then John Alonzo came on, mm-hmm. and John Alonzo did a magnificent job, beautiful, gorgeous, job. gorgeous, gorgeous movie, yeah, oh. yeah, and then uh, John now has passed away along with Stanley, yeah, but John yeah. was younger than me. John was a young cinematographer, and I knew John. Uh, uh, before he was married to Jan, and 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 he was an actor. I knew him as an actor. Mm-hmm. Then he became a cinematographer at, at the same commercial company I worked for, and uh, became a terrific cinematographer. God, very good. He, he was amazing, uh, and a very very warm, generous soul. I could tell from the interviews that I've I've heard from Mr. Alonzo. But... Yeah, no, he he was beautiful. I I love John. He was he was absolutely terrific. Yeah. The Mr. Polanski, uh, when have you encountered him over the years or spoken with him? No, I haven't. I haven't. We just through other people. Tell Billy I love him. Yeah. I say tell Roman I love him. <laughs> 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 but uh, we we've never spoken or anything like that. I was in uh, uh, doing a picture with uh, oh God, I forget. Uh, we were in Tunisia. And he was going to do a picture called Pirates or something down right, further right. south. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, I was uh, I was going to go down and see him on the weekend. And instead, they decided to shoot that weekend, and I couldn't go down and see him. And then uh, uh, four or five days later, well, during the week, we left and, and came home. That was mm-hmm. the only chance I had to see him. I, I, I couldn't. And he says that... Uh, uh, why do I want to come back to Hollywood? Again? Exactly. <laughs> Look what has happened right. to me while I was in Hollywood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. With Sharon yeah. Tate and with right, his wife, right. and and they were marvelous together. We used to go to dinner on the weekends, uh, all because they lived in in uh, Malibu. Right. They had a place in Malibu, and we used to go to dinner down down at the Malibu Pier. There was a restaurant. The I forget the name of it. The at the at the head of the pier, and then in Santa Monica. And uh, uh, it was just absolutely magnificent and marvelous. Wow. He was very loyal to people, and he was very loyal to the people he worked with. And, uh, uh, God, I'm trying to think of the uh, production designer. Uh, uh, Silbert? Uh, yeah, that, Richard Silbert, yeah, Dick yes. Silbert. And who was magnificent, by the way. And I mean yeah. magnificent. As, as, and because... You could t- take any piece of the wall and uh, any piece of the set that he built, and you could remove a piece of the set so you could stick a camera in there. And he he built for making pictures. He he was a, he was he was a complete artist, but he was also visually inclined. He thought visually, you know. Yes. And so God, I, I thought he was just absolutely magnificent. And he ran the studio. I thought quite well. Eventually, he became head of Paramount. Thank you so much, Thank Mr. Fricker. Well, God bless you, and and uh, God bless you for giving me the opportunity to talk about Roman, how much I love him, how much I appreciate him, and uh, how much I really respect what he does uh, visually.